Hello everyone, and welcome back to Niche, Adam's Legacy, where we are here hidden away in the grasses with a new generation of nichelings that are being born to carry on the legacy of Adam's adventures and hopefully guide many of our little nichelings up to their new home island. And I'm really excited about all of these new babies, even though I was kind of despairing because we are getting really, really, really close at playing way too closely with the immunity genes. We only have about three or four maximum different immunity genes that are currently in the tribe. So we could end up getting quite sick unless we find a new wanderer to be able to add in and bring new genes with them. But even with that potentiality hanging over our heads, thankfully so far we seem to be doing quite well. If you guys want to catch up with what we did last time, do please check out the video description for a link to the playlist of our previous episodes, because we're going to go ahead and dive right back in. Quite literally, because it is time to send some of the adventurers, who are our water-bodied nichelings, up to the north to be able to start clearing a pathway to the northern island that we need to follow if we hope to complete Adam's journey and Adam's quest which means reaching the home island. And also we need to take a peek. Oh, Mira, you actually don't have home island immunity. But I think that Mira thinks that Topri is really awesome and she will listen and obey Bila, one of the elders and one of the best swimmers who taught the other youngsters how to swim. And she will help go north and clear the way even if she doesn't feel the strong instinctual pull that many of the other nichelings do. All right, Mira, let's actually get you over here to yank that leech off and clean up Topri. Topri, we're going to send you further to the north. Oh, coconuts! Coconuts and shells. Oh, those scallop shells actually remind me of when we used to have our our Doli legacy, when we had our Doli tribe way back when, and they would collect those shells in order to decorate the different jewelry that their priestesses would wear. Oh, that is definitely a throwback. Ah, I love it. All right. And little Janar, who is extremely sickly, unfortunately, and short-sighted. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a big, that's a big oof. He at least is going to spend his young short life splashing around in the waters and trying to help as well. And Pride On, who is really kind of like the pride of my heart. I mean, look at him. He is one of the most amazing nichelings I think we have ever had. Is going to carry on with trying to delve deeper. Oh, I wish there was a spot where we could guarantee to find another nicheling. But he'll delve deeper on the northern islands as well. So we'll send him along here, maybe occasionally to peek at the the islands just in case there's something there. And then we also have Tad, who only has one day left to live. So he's going to spend that day in the comfortable companion of Bumble, who also only has one day left to live. And the two of them are going to go ahead share maybe some noodle doodle worms no luck on the noodle doodle worms but they got some berries to share at least and i think that actually denono only has a couple days left to live too so he'll come and spend some time with them too because these guys aren't going to be here next time which is sad <laughs> i'm sorry little friends and denono actually i wonder if i should go ahead and rush over one of my other females River! I might rush River down and have her actually breed with Denono because she has H and E immunity. And otherwise, Denono has a lot of very valuable traits. And River wants to pass on Cracker Jaws and Stripes. All right, River, I'm going to have you come over to kind of say goodbye to some of the, the old ones and see what's going on here. So that that way they have a connection to a bunch of the females. We're kind of splitting into the females, really clustering in a little nest where they're trying to have their babies pretty much at the same time at this point, so that that way their children will all be the age to help go across the crossing at the same time. If you have a tiny baby and then a bunch of juveniles, somebody might get lost in the river currents or left behind. And so it'd be better to try to keep your, the birth of your children as quickly and closely as possible. So we really do kind of have like a land-based group of females now and then our adventurers. And speaking of our adventurers, we do have a few adventurers back here. Oh, Moku, you also are just an adventurer. You don't have, you don't have home island immunity. We are going to give you good eyesight because that's actually, you're carrying blind eye recessive. Not good. 
And Frug has home island immunity, so come on, you two. It's about time that we finally got you guys across to the other side. That was just a quick glance for my sake. Okay, don't drown, Moku. To see if there was anything quickly on this island that was worth it. All right, let's see. Oh, Bila. Bila is going to go ahead and call down her very last commands to Mira and the others that they should continue to explore to the north and carve away from the sea onto the land for the rest of the tribe. And we're going to have Linlin -Lin come down here. And Linlin, -Lin, you can actually do gathering too, which is good. We're going to have her start clearing the area around this tree so that a bunch of the females can use it as a good spot to rest. Little Adri will step to the side because Reese, who I think is her mother, no, Reese, who has never had a child before, is finally having an opportunity. Oh, there's bunnies on that island. I just saw one run by. Is finally having opportunity of her own to get comfortable and be able to make a nest. And Bila, who only has a couple days left to live herself. Oh, heck. All right, Bila is going to... I think we'll have her step to the side and kind of watch after her daughter and we'll take apart that nest to save up on nesting material. And Kiwi will help with watching over everyone. Let's see, he's actually very strong, very healthy, recessive cracker jaw. He doesn't have any homeland immunity gene, but he can still really help out with gathering and defending. All right, the sea is about to claim some of our older members of the tribe. But that is the cycle of life, and hopefully the tribe and their hopes for the future will carry on. Bumble, Tad, Denono, hang in there, guys. Reese? Oh, rest in peace! Oh my gosh, you're kidding! Look, you guys, just as we lost, just as we lost Bumble and just as we lost Tad, there actually were twin twin boys born in the tribe oh, that's too perfect we should name the boys after them for sure oh my gosh come on that's too perfect yeah we'll name one bumble and we'll name one tad and the second because that's that's too special but no no oh reese you got to have twins oh and i totally forgot to even give you the ability <laughs> Poor Reese. I didn't even remember to give her the ability to go ahead and uh, pass on a gene because we were just so caught up in everything. Oh, and that means we have short-sighted eyes again. All right, boys, both of you immediately get normal eyesight because that's not something we want to be playing with, okay? Uh, and then we're going to rename. Oh, look at how cute. This little guy is going to be... Um, I almost called him Tumble. You know what? Tumble is a good way to honor Bumble. <laughs> so we'll name him Tumble. And then we'll name this little baby. We'll name him uh, Tad with two Ds. In honor of the nichelings that we just lost. Because that is absolutely precious. Alright, we're starting to get quite a few nichelings too. So we want to be a little careful. And somebody got sick, but I forgot to double check where that sickness was spreading from. All right, meanwhile, Denono only has about one day left due to his sickness, and River will come down to the bones of where the others have gone before, and we'll go ahead and see if he can at least flirt a little, maybe pass something special on before he will be no more with this world. Let's see. River is Cracker Jaws and Stripes, and Denono... Why don't we have you go ahead and pass on water body and fishing tail, perhaps? That would be very useful. Why not? I think Denono's always kind of wished that he could fish. So we'll do water body and fishing tail. And then he will go ahead and sing a poem of the sea up to Lovely River, since she is, after all, named after water. And it worked. And she's going to settle in right here. Make a nice comfy nest. And then Denono and River will share some berries as Denono settles in for what is the end of his very brief young life, which is quite unfortunate. That's what that doubled up island immunity will do. It really takes the little ones before their time. Oh, and we lost her. 
<laughs> Rest in peace, Blila! She really was such a good leader for the tribe, too. She she really guided several of the nichelings. Alright, little bow, we're gonna scooch you over. And we're definitely, if you breed at all, little bow, it's gonna hopefully be for normal eyesight. And then let's make a little bit of space for Reese. Oh, we're gonna leave behind so many orphaned babies! Oh, that's really hard to see. And then Audrey will keep an eye out. And I'm going to put the normal eyesight in Audrey as well. If we ended up losing sight of where we wanted to go by getting short-sighted eyes or blind eyes, that will slow us down so tremendously. So we're going to try to avoid that. And Kiwi, I'm going to have you come over and start clearing away spots so we can gather up some of those nuts. Little Dem... Oh, she's also a good nut collector. Oh, she's got double nimble fingers, so she'd be great at any of the clams as well. And can you breathe underwater, my little love? Do you have water body? You do have water body, yes! And Vila, oh, Vila, it's her last moments too, so I'm going to let her stay with her daughter and maybe try to instruct her daughter in the ways of the water. And then meanwhile, Moku, who is just a normal type family adventurer, has finally made it to the island, so we'll let him dive deep into the island's ways and see what he can find. Oh boy. Come on, Frug. Oh! And Frug plucked himself out of the water basically at the last moment so that he would not drown and has found himself suddenly at Pregnant River's side as she prepares to say goodbye to another mate. Has she had babies before? She has. So she has just said goodbye to mate after mate, and Frug is now here. And I think he's going to feel very responsible for the little ones, because suddenly half of the tribe is orphaned. Like, at least on one side. Their fathers have died, their mothers are actually dying too. I feel like he definitely feels super responsible for watching after all these little ones. So hang in there, Frug. You're a good, good fellow. Prydon is going to continue searching the waterways along with Mira. Here we go. Let's crack that, and then let's start exploring the upper parts of our little island. And then Prydon, I might send him around and up just a little bit, and then we'll, we might just have them all stick together and literally just kind of bushwhack through the grasses to try to get the tribe to the point where we can get to the other side. Is that everybody? That's everyone. All right. Rest in peace, Denono. I hope that whatever little child you have will be a healthy one that River will be able to remember you with. <gasps> oh, little girl! Look at her! And she's actually got... Oh, she's a water-bodied Nishling! Yes! And she actually has Cracker Jaw, which will possibly help her out quite a bit. And it's something that her mother has always wanted to pass on. She's got normal eyesight, thank freaking goodness. And we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to name her Mesa. Little Mesa after Night Mesa. Thank you so much for leaving your comments in the previous videos. We are definitely starting to add in you guys as some of the additions to our legacy. So if you would like to leave your comments, then I will put them into a random comments generator and nicheling a size your name if it pops up in a future episode. Or, you know, today as we have had tons of babies. But I actually think like we've made really good progress on having babies and saving the bloodline so far. I mean, Nessa didn't get sickly. She actually also just has H and star immunity. So, whew. All right, I think we're actually doing really good there. Okay. So Frug, I think he's going to come over and he's going to start clearing the way so it'll be easier for everybody to be able to get across. We'll have Moku help him out. And then I'm going to actually have Moku go a little bit deeper into the island. And he destroyed a berry bush, which... Did not used to be okay with this tribe. They used to really respect the berry bushes, never destroy them. But I think this younger generation, having lost so many of their elders, I mean, I can't look at a single nicheling here other than not even River and think that they would know about, like, not taking from the berry bush. I think they're starting to enter such a nomadic period of life that they think if they take most of the berry bush but leave behind a sapling like they have, then that would be fine. 
so the the honoring of the berry bush by not destroying it is beginning to slip away into the past. Oh, and Janar! Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. Now you also have, like, a leech on you. Okay, look, you can jump down here real quick. We'll pluck off the leech, and then you gotta go back into the water. I'm sorry. But stay close. You can't really see anything. Poor little guy. Alright, so... Frug is feeling very responsible for this crew of little young ones. Uh, and he is really concerned about their welfare. And then, speaking of being concerned about welfare, Mira is here. And she and her brother, uh -huh, definitely feel responsible for doing what they can to try to clear out some of the land. And unfortunately, Tapri has webbed hind feet, so he's not going to be super fast about it. However, Prydon... Pride on it can definitely help out. So Tapri might get tossed back into the water. <laughs> but I guess I guess he can kind of just move slower and clear things up. Alright. Anybody on Wow, we've really condensed ourselves down onto just one island now, friends. Alright, little Adri will gather up these. Tad will kind of investigate the bones of his mother, as sad as that sounds. Tumble will go ahead and rest for just a moment next to his twin. Meanwhile, little Bo can help his mom start clearing away some spots and gathering some of the berries. And Lin Lin suddenly finds herself, ironically, being one of the eldest in the tribe, which is not something that she expected. But thankfully, like, I mean, we're still alive. Let's look at the positives. Dim just lost her mother, but she is able to swim quite far. We'll let her start doing that to begin to go help Forge the path to the north. All right, there we go. Everybody's aging up. Oh, I think, I think, I think. I'm nervous about it, but I think we're gonna be okay, guys. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go ahead. We're gonna have Dim start working her way up to the northern group. And then I do wanna let Janar contribute somehow. So he's gonna try to unlock through the course of his life, because he can't see and go very far. Platypus Beak, fingers crossed that he'll be able to achieve that. Kiwi has aged up, so we're gonna need to think about what kind of traits to give to Kiwi. I'm really just kind of leaning heavily into water body now, because if we had water body, we probably could have just swam the entire tribe through these waters and to the north, and they could just keep swimming and skip island by island until they're able to go ahead and find home island. So that sounds really appealing. So I think that's gonna be kind of where our goal is going to grow, is earning our, our way through the water. Hmm, I think we'll be able to do it. We've got a lot of water bodies starting to pop around. But all right, my friends, if you guys could, do please leave a like for this little generation of youngsters who suddenly finds themselves inheriting an island and only a handful of the precious genes that we need. And if you guys could, do please consider subscribing to join this and literally thousands more adventures. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!